The other thing you mentioned, which I, I found fascinating, is you added to your list of weaknesses impatience. Yeah. But you are well aware of the strengths of impatience. Of course. That's the thing. Whatever is your weakness, flip it. It's like a coin. The other side is your strength. Now, what? I know that sounds like complete opposite, right? But I'm impatient. So as a weakness, especially when I'm tired, I'm not making tiredness an excuse, but especially when I'm tired, it can make you angry. It can make you short-tempered. It can make you um, rude. Mm. Amen. And so you have to take a moment and get yourself in check because impatience can also lead to a fast pace to a quick idea, to a rapid execution, to a sense of urgency, to a sense of excitement, to a sense of enthusiasm, to a definite sense of leadership in, in the team. So that very quality is your strength and is your weakness. And you have to be able to, I always, I say in the book, you have to have a truth teller. Now, hopefully your truth teller is yourself so that you can say that wasn't my best self or that was not, that was my strength at its weakest moment. And if you don't, if you're not good at being truthful or honest with yourself, you better have somebody around you that is. Mm. Because you'll have a lot of, you know, ass kisses around you, especially when you're successful. Not when you start, <laughs> but especially when you're successful. And you have to know it's not, not necessarily because they're insincere, but they're not going to be your truth tellers. So that's lovely to have. And it's lovely maybe for your ego or your whatever it is for inviting to parties. But you have to have some truth tellers. Have you got truth tellers around you? Yes. That will tell you when you're, you're out of line or that yes. you've been rude? Yes. Who are those people? My number one truth teller is Raymond. Yeah. He will tell me he has no filter. He has no ability to edit. He's about the kindest and most generous person I've ever known. He's certainly the smartest person, but he has absolutely no edit button. And I will say to him sometimes, Raymond, I cannot believe you just said that. He said, but it's true. It's true. And he's right. Okay, so that's Raymond. And then I have people in my tight team Natalie Byrne, who works with me on strategy for our nonprofit, she will call me and has many times, sometimes late at night and say, Jane, I can't stop thinking about this. I think what you said today was off base or off the mark or whatever it is. And we talk about it and she's almost 100% right. And that's, I tell her, Natalie, I love you because you tell me the truth. Don't ever, she said, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I said, Natalie, please, you will not hurt my feelings. Uh, uh, uh.